Congratulations. Thank you. Uh, it's been kind of an uh, unusual game, first period, was kind of all back and forth, a lot of shooting going on, and, and then, like for about eight minutes of the second period, it seemed like you guys took control of the game. Well, obviously we survived another bad first period. I thought our goalie was outstanding. I thought their goalie made some great saves too, but I thought our goal guy made a lot more. And you know, they could easily had three goals in the first. I thought we could have had a couple. Uh, just you know, got completely away from the things we did last Saturday night, where we moved the puck, we possessed it. Uh, you know, so to be able to survive that first period and only come out of it, you know, zero zero, we felt fortunate. And I thought we played a much better second, where we started moving the puck quicker and. You know, not spending as much time in our end and being a little bit more responsible defensively, and you know, shot the puck more. At least, you know, we didn't have a lot of shot attempts in the in this first period, and I thought we shot a lot more in the second period. And we we were rewarded for it. Coach, uh, do you start double shifting the top unit uh, in the second period? Is that just a matter of course, or was that just tonight? Um, I try to do as much as I can. <laughs> I think that's something any coach would do. Oh yeah. Uh, we've got a great first line and. You know, when there's an opportunity to get them an extra shift or two or five in a period, I try to do it. So, um, you know, it's nothing out of the ordinary for us. It seemed like there was a little blood in the water in the second period. You guys were going for it. Yeah, we were much better in the second period because uh, I don't think there was a guy in that locker room that was happy with their performance in the first period. And, you know, I mean, we need to understand that, you know, we usually get people's best and they were more desperate than we were. You know, they had a tough weekend last weekend and we came off a pretty good weekend. So... When you're dealing with 18 to 22 year olds, the concentration level isn't too high, and consistency is an issue, and that's been an issue for us. And uh, although the first period is a reflection of most of our first periods, although that was as bad as it's been, really, uh, we've had some. You know, we may not score a lot in the first period, but that was as bad a first period as we've had. But I was really proud of the way we battled back and you know, got it together. And I thought, you know, had long stretches in the second where we were playing the way we need to play. Is that just a lot of goal, a big momentum changer for you guys, you think? It's always, you know, I mean, I, I clearly thought it shouldn't have been a goal. I mean, I thought there was, wasn't any doubt that they interfered with the goalie. So, I, you know, I wasn't worried that it was going to be allowed. So, I mean, I think our guys, were, you know, expected it to be waved off. So I don't think it was that much of a, of a boost to us. But any time that you know, they were viewing it, you never know. Were you looking for a penalty there? Is that what you were talking to him? Well, a penalty first, and then why wasn't the face-off outside? I mean, you know, and I asked him, and I said, you know, he said, well, you know, goalie interference usually brings a face-off outside, but we didn't blow the whistle then. But we should have. I said, well, then it should be outside, so we're going to get, we're getting penalized for your mistake. Now the face-off's inside? That doesn't make any sense to me, so. I guess I'm never going to be a good lawyer. I lost that argument. <laughs> How nice was it to get back, uh, getting that power play goal tonight? It was good. I mean, we, you know, it was a key goal, a timely goal, and, you know, we've got to, I thought Saturday night at Merrimack, against Merrimack, we moved it well and we had a good power play. We just didn't get rewarded. And it was nice to get one, you know, to make it. I think it made it 2 nothing. It was a key goal. Uh, Pignich scores his first goal tonight. Uh, you talk about his play? He's been playing very well. And, you know, it's good to see a guy like that get rewarded. We've kind of always felt, you know, once he gets one, maybe it'll start coming in bunches. So hopefully, uh, hopefully that'll happen, you know, once the second half starts. Looked like Eichel got a lot more involved in the second period and for times took over the game. Yeah, well, he can do that, you know, and, you know, it's, uh, you know, people seem to forget he's 18 years old and, you know, he's a heck of a player and a heck of a kid and, you know, his people key on him and, you know, when we go on the road, they get the last change and, you know, we're playing against men out there and, you know, he, uh, but I thought he played better as the game went on and, you know, made a great play on the second goal. So how do you defend him on Friday? Uh... <laughs> I'm not worried about defending them. <laughs> I'm not worried about that. We'll uh, we get a whole heap of problems with that team because they're going to be loaded. But it'll be a fun night. It'll be you know great to play at Walter Brown, and you know, it'll be fun seeing him in the USA jersey and knowing that even though we're against him, it really doesn't count. So that will take the sting away from him a little bit. No one's finishing their checks on number exactly. nine. Exactly. <laughs> it'll be touch. It'll be a pond hockey when he's got it. Thanks, coach. Thank you.